Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the Sophia Revision C upgrade. In a previous video that I made, I showed you the Sophia Revision A, which uh, outputs RGB video out of the Atari computer, and my demonstration showed it showed how to connect it to a, a SCART monitor. This time, the Sophia Revision C, it's also an RGB video output, but allow us to connect the Atari into a DVI monitor. So when you order the Sophia upgrade, you'll get the board and a cable with DVI video output. The DVI video output goes into the connector here on the right, so we're just going to push that easily inside. The left connector here is for firmware upgrade if you require to do that in the future. So the board connects into the Atari where the GTI GTIA chip is installed. We're going to remove that carefully, we're going to remove that GTIA chip from its socket, put the Sophia board inside. And that's it. That's how easy it is to install. This is an Atari 600XL computer, a PAL 600XL, a non-upgraded, just with 16K of RAM. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to carefully remove the GTIA chip from its socket. I'm going to do it easily, so we're not going to bend any pins. We're going to put the GTIA in, uh, into the SOFIA board, just like that. And we're going to place the SOFIA just into the socket where the GTIA was originally installed into. And that will give us a DVI video output from the Atari computer. This board supports the Atari 600XL, 800XL and the 1200XL. It, you can also install it inside the Atari 5200 console game system. If you're going to, if you have an 800, uh, sorry, 130XC or a 65XE, you need a slightly different board which will fit inside the 130XE or 65XE uh, layout. So I have here a screen with DVI D input and I'm going to connect it into the Sophia socket. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to mount the connector, if I'm going to remove the RF or just Cut a small hole here so the DVI output will go on top of the RF. The DVI does not, does not have audio, so we can either use the internal speakers of the computer or external speakers like I have here, in, uh, or the external speakers um, of the monitor we need to connect those into the audio output of the Atari computer. So we can either take the audio from pin 2 of the RF shield, that's where the audio, the easiest place to get the audio from, or we can make, I made a simple cable that will simply take the audio out of the monitor port into an audio jack. So I can connect that into my monitor port just for this demonstration. And this is where I'm going to take the audio signal out into the speakers. 
If I had a Cyclano Excel and NTSC version that does not have the audio port, then I would have to get that directly from the board itself. I'm going to connect power. This is the standard Atari power plug. And I'm going to boot the computer. As you can see, we be booting directly into basic clear picture image is very sharp and nice colors let's put a cartridge put the pitfall game and we get into the game where the image is very clean and sharp and it's colors are very nice and it's working very smoothly Gonna just a note for PAL users. The DVI, the Sophia DVI upgrade does not upscaling it. It simply uh, transmit the video digital digitally directly from the GTIA. So you need a monitor that support 50 hertz. Not all monitors that I've tested the uh, tested with can support 50 hertz. Most of them can do very easily 60 hertz. So in North America, that's very, I think it's more easy to find a monitor, a DVI monitor that can go on 60 hertz. But to 50 hertz, you need to get a monitor uh, like this one. This is a ViewSonic monitor. I've seen HP monitors that can do 50 hertz very easily. But I also tested other models like Dell, they don't do a 50 hertz. They can go the lowest refresh rate that they can support is a 60 hertz. So for PAL users, European users, you need to make sure that the monitor you are using can support a 50 hertz video signal. Let's try another game. Let's try Donkey Kong. Yeah, so you can even try and play and see how it works. Very easy upgrade to do. Simply a uh, plug and play and you can get a nice, clean, sharp image from your Atari computer. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And until next time, keep enjoy and play with your Atari.